Guys and gals, I have a story for you today. A 70-year-old company, third generation company, starting with just two family members and growing into something enormous today in downtown Chicago. Michael is the guy I have with me today from Water Saver, and he's gonna give you a bit more details on the incredible company that we get to learn about today. So Michael, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. I'm so excited to share this story with the global audience who may not already know you, but may because you guys have been around a long time and incredibly famous for what you do, but I cannot wait to share this story. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Uh, so Water Saver Fawcett started uh, 70 years ago with our current owner's father and grandfather. Uh, his grandfather was a plumbing wholesaler um, and uh, inveterate tinkerer. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of his, him and his son's patents on our walls. Uh, after his son came back from the war, uh, you know, he convinced his father to close his wholesale business um, and start uh, manufacturing faucets uh, based on his own designs. Um, basically, he thought he had invented a better mousetrap. Um, so they started with just the two of them uh, in the back of the wholesale business. Um, and slowly grew it. Uh, in the mid early 60s, they uh, found an opening with a uh, university uh, science laboratory. Um, they got their products into a university laboratory um, and really found their niche where their uh, high quality uh, products um, suited the uh, uh, harsh environment uh, of the labs um, and the rest is history. Uh, we have been in Chicago the entirety of the company's history. Uh, where we are now, uh, we've been on this site since the early 1970s. Um, and then in the early 2000s, our owner reinvested in manufacturing in the city um, and built a state-of-the-art LEED Gold certified uh, facility for Water Saver and also moved our sister company, Guardian Equipment, uh, about a half mile up, to road, up the road to Goose Island. It's a cool story. It really is. I love when third generation and the sons move in and, you know, I believe the current owner used to be a lawyer and now he's moved into what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. And we're actually standing in, some of, in front of some of the original machines, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. So th these are two of the models uh, that started the company. Um, and upon the dedication of the new building, uh, we had them refurbished and now uh, show our origins. Could you give us a little bit more about the details of those patents? If, if you know that kind of detail, because it's so curious to me, I do see them on the walls as I walk around. There's several of them. So it sure. wasn't just one lucky <laughs> shot, right? They really were tinkerers trying to grow something special. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the name Water Saver um, comes actually from the original patent for the water cartridge that is in, still in all of our faucets today. Um, it allows the user to take the cartridge out of the faucet and adjust the flow um, as needed um, to save water. Um, and those same patents, uh, same designs are used uh, in our products to this day. Well, Michael, if it's okay for me to share my heart for a split moment, because Absolutely. I do that on camera sometimes, the people know me, I like to do that. Um, part of the world, a lot of the world is still struggling with clean water and having water at all. So let me just say thank you real quick on camera, in front of everyone. Thank you for making this, creating this, continuing to grow this. So talking about growth, what are we up to now? Employees, machines, what are you guys doing? Uh, so in our facility at Water Saver, we have about 160 employees um, on the shop floor and in the offices. Uh, at our sister company, Guardian Equipment, there's about another 125 employees uh, all here in the Chicago area. And the employees matter to you. you. You've spoken to me off camera, and I think it's important to talk with the folks watching right now. The reason you stayed in Chicago is the importance of the people who work here, supporting the community, supporting the people who have been with you for a long time. That's part of the reason, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, in the early 2000s, uh, when we had outgrown our current space, uh, there was a lot of discussion as to whether we would move to uh, the outer suburbs where a lot of the manufacturing base has moved in the Chicago area or to another lower cost uh, state um, as like some of our neighbors. Um, and the decision was made that our workforce um, live, lives in the city, works in the city. Uh, a lot of our uh, workers take public transportation. Uh, we're just down the street from the uh, CTA uh, L, uh, as well as several bus lines um, and the uh, Metra trains that go out to the suburbs. Well, Michael, I know you've been here for approximately eight years. And everyone who watches this knows that every now and again, I like to throw a curveball into a conversation. <laughs> I am very curious with the eight years that you've been here. I know that you speak German as well. I know you've been over to Germany and you've spent time there, even lived there. Do you have a favorite story working with Water Saber that you could share with the audience, get, let them get to know you a little bit? <laughs> that is a curveball. 
<laughs> um, you know, I would, I would say uh, one of the uh, coolest stories um, is uh, in, when we were in front of the RoboDrills, uh, we discussed um, how these valves used to be machined on old cam-driven machines. Um, before we invested in the RoboDrills to replace those, we actually uh, hooked up the uh, cobots um, to run these uh, 60, 70 year old uh, cam driven machines. Um, and when the first one was uh, finished um, and we showed our owner, um, he actually said, you know, if his father was still alive, I think he would cry right now. I'm so happy you threw this onto camera. I just, uh, thank you for that guys. I'm happy this happened. Thank you for sharing that story. That's really cool. Did you, re did you just tell me that you were throwing cobots onto 70 year old machines? Absolutely. I wanna make sure I heard that correctly. That's phenomenal. Old, old and new. Oh, I love it. All right guys, so this is Water Saver. This is my buddy, Michael. On behalf of MTD and the Methods team, we wish you many, many more generations of success. Thank you very much.